What is a smart object and why is it important to know and realize what they are? Well, smart objects are layers that contain image data from raster or vector images. And I'll explain that in a few minutes here, such as Photoshop or Illustrator files. Now, the, some of you who are graphic designers probably have worked in Illustrator and they work in what's called a vector image. Photoshop works in raster image, which means that the photo is pixelated. Now in Illustrator files, it's kind of a long story on what vector images are, but they're really made up of mathematical lines and curves and really clean, straight, or curved pieces. Smart objects preserve an image's source content with all its original characteristics, enabling you to perform non-destructive editing to the layer. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, here is an image that was brought in, let's just turn this layer on here, as a smart object. The one on the right hasn't really been manipulated because it was a smart object. The one on the left was a smart object, and then we converted it to a regular image, a basically a raster image. We enlarged it and we shrunk it down. Well, let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and place an image. Okay, there's now a smart object. The reason we know it's a smart object is because over here to the right hand side where you see these layers, you'll see this little, it's really hard to see, but I'll zoom in here, a little uh, image in the corner, a little icon in the bottom right hand corner that makes it a smart image. If you hover over it, it will say smart object thumbnail. Now let's go ahead and bring it in again. So I'm going to go file, place, let's bring that in again so it's a copy of it. It is also a smart object. It's on the left hand side, but what happens when we right click and we choose to simplify the layer? It becomes a raster instead of a vector, okay? So what that means is if you were to enlarge it, let's just enlarge it really large, and then we're like, oh shoot, I don't really want it that large anymore. Let's just shrink it down, okay? So we're gonna shrink it back down from the corner. And maybe we do that a couple times. Let's just do it a couple times. <laughs> just because we want it to be a drama, a drama look. Okay, now we're gonna zoom back in. So not only did we enlarge, we're also going to shrink it down and then bring it back up. So we enlarged it, we played around with it, we shrunk it down, and now we're going to make it the size. Now what happens is, is those pixels are being stretched over and over again, because you enlarged it, you shrunk it down, and they, it causes it to kind of blur, as you can see here. Now if you were to do this with a smart object that has not been simplified, so let's just do about the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little check mark, then I'm gonna shrink it down really, really small, do it again, and then go ahead and back up, click on the check mark, Notice that it's not really changing as far as the pixels go. So if you want to, you can bring in all your objects as a smart object and you can manipulate them, shrink them and bring them up larger, smaller, and then they won't be uh, messed with. Now another thing too, let me just turn these two layers off. If you've heard of AI files, so let's just place my logo. It's an uh, Adobe Illustrator file and I'm gonna place that in here. Let's just try to enlarge that and see what happens. It still stays clean. So now how, look how clean, when you look at it at 100%, that's basically uh, what you wanna do. See down here at the bottom left-hand corner, you see 100%. When I double click on the zoom tool, that goes back to 100%. So it is really nice to have smart objects, but some people kind of 
don't really like them because you can't apply filters to them until you simplify that layer. So if you ever try to go to a filter and then maybe do an artistic, uh, let's just try watercolor, it's going to say the smart object layer must be simplified before it can be edited. So some of these filters and some of these enhancements won't work on a smart object. So you will have to simplify them. So to simplify them, you right click and you choose simplify layer. Now there is another area that you can turn off smart objects so that when, when um, photos come in and you place photos, they are automatically simplified off the bat. You can go into edit, preferences, and general, and this was added in version 15. And you can see here where it says disable smart objects. I went ahead and kept it on because I kind of like to have smart objects. Some people don't. So if you want to disable the smart objects, you can go ahead and give that a check and then they will come in simplified and they will no longer be a smart object. So that is something that you want to keep in mind. Kind of play around with it until you fully understand it and then you can turn that off if you choose to. Thanks so much for watching this quick snippet taken directly out of the Photo Editing and DigiScrap Academy. My final thought for the day is to make every day count. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye for now.